The Life of a Dancer, artwork by Edgar Degas. One quote from Edgar Degas is, The Academy, you'll never see me there. Unconcerned with fame, Degas simply loved motion and wanted to express that in his artwork. He enjoyed drawing everyday life or commonplace things, as he was inspired by the artist Baldaire. He was also good friends with fellow impressionist Manette, uh, but they were vastly different in disposition. Um, Edgar Degas frequented the Paris Opera House in order to observe ballerinas. He loved the dancers and treated them as his own children and was very kind to them. The dancers loved him as well and often um, would compete for his attention. Despite his, this attention, though, he never married. In his 30s, his eyesight began to fail, forcing him to turn to the art of sculpture. His aristocratic family was very supportive of him, which was unusual for artists of this time. Degas often said if painting weren't difficult, it wouldn't be so fun. He loved the challenge capturing motion presented. He also said art is not what you see, but what you make others see. Striking words from a man slowly going blind. Ballets were a fashionable part of Parisian cultural life. Starting off with Italian roots, Russia and France started their own styles, which eventually caught on as a fashionable thing and became more widely popular in the late 1800s in most parts of Russia and France. France was ruled by Napoleon III from 1852 to 1870. During its early years, allowing uh, for mo more freedom of the press and assembly. Uh, the era saw great industrialization, urbanization, and e economic growth, but Napoleon III's foreign policies would prove to be catastrophic. Ballet rehearsal on stage. Painted in 1874, it is not considered an imp a typical Impressionist painting due to the lack of color. This is an oil on canvas painting that clearly shows the Parisian culture because ballet was a major aspect at this time. In this scene, the dancers are rehearsing. It is not planned and is spontaneous. Though all of the dancers are shown uh, dressed uniformly, their faces are not uniform. Every dancer has a different facial expression, but all the expressions read as one mood, fatigue. Some people are yawning and others are scratching their necks, so it's not to be supposed to be a formal piece, but more what happened in this moment. The colors are dull, reinforcing the tired mood. Degas sculpted the little dancer of 14 years in 1881 and displayed it in a glass case. The girl he sculpted it after was named Marie von Gotham. Displayed in a glass case because of its small size and bad reviews it received, people thought it looked like a monkey or a savage Aztec. However, the controversial real cloth skirt, bodice, and wig received very good reviews. The medium was a plaster casting casting, <laughs> instead of his usual bronze. The original was also made of wax, and this was very unusual of this time. Marie van Gotham was a young ballerina who was Degas' muse and was sketched and painted by him in many other pieces of art, such as The Dancing Lesson, Dancer with a Fan, and Dancer Resting. He sketched her so he could analyze the movement and anatomy of the female body. Okay. The Dancing Class. This is another oil on canvas painting that focuses on the ordinary daily life of the girls. There are images seen such as a girl scratching her back and a dog by a girl's foot. This portrays the spontaneity and randomness of his artwork. He made sure to make the forms free and natural. The scene depicted shows Degas' life in a snapshot. He was always backstage painting and letting everyone see the life of a dancer. Degas has bright colors as of his pastels, the main medium that he used. It shows an impressionist composition. It is uneven and sketchy and spontaneous, all large techniques of impressionism. Muses work all day long, and then at night, they get together and dance. 